problem statement, weight of two blocks A and B are 100 and 150 Newton respectively. To stop. Find the smallest value of the horizontal force F to just move the lower block B. If the block is restrained by a string, and second, when string is removed, okay? So this one it is block A and B. First of all, draw the free body diagram of block A. Now consider block A. Consider block A. Block A. Okay. So it is rested on block B. Okay. So this one is block A. The weight of block A it is 100 newton. So it is acted in downward direction. Weight of block it is 100 newton. So block A it is rested on block B. So just remove this contacted surface. Here it is contacted. So just remove this contacted surface and draw the normal reaction that is RNA. Normal reaction. RNA. Normal reaction. RNA. Okay. So impending motion of this block it is just show the impending motion. This one it is embedding motion towards the right side. This one it is direction of embedding motion. Embedding motion. Embedding motion. Okay. The direction of embedding motion is towards the right. When friction force is acted, opposite direction of embedding motion. This one it is friction force. So FR is equal to FR is equal to coefficient of friction between A and B it is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 into RNA, 0.2 into RNA, okay. So this is free body diagram of, now there is a string, so this one is string force T, this one is string force T, okay, string force A. Apply condition of equilibrium or block A, apply condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium for block A. For block A. Okay. First of all, apart from like summation F y is equal to zero. Summation F y is equal to zero. Summation F y is equal to zero. Okay. So here is the assumption: if the force it is upward, it will be positive. The direction of force it is upward. It will be positive. It will be positive. The direction of force it is downward. It will be negative. The direction of force it is downward. It will be negative. It will be negative. Okay. First of all, RNA is going upwards direction. RNA and 100 newton it is going downward direction. So minus 100. So this two force is acted in vertical direction. Okay. Is equal to zero. Uh, RNA it is equal to it will get 100 newton. 100 newton. Okay. RNA is equal to it is 100 newton. Okay. RNA is equal to it is 100 newton. So now consider block B. Okay. Now consider block B. Now consider block B. Consider block B. Consider block B. Consider block b okay consider block b for condition one condition one it is what is condition one the block is restrained by string okay so for that draw the free body diagram this one is block b the weight of block b it is 150 newton it is acted in downward direction 150 newton 150 newton it is acted in downward direction 150 newton Okay. So it is contacted to A. So there is also normal reaction that is RNA. This one is normal reaction. So this one is normal reaction. RNA. So this one is normal reaction. RNA. Okay. And here it is also contacted. B to surface that is RNB. Normal reaction it is RNB. RNB. Normal reaction it is RNB. Okay. 
Then F four it is acted here. Just show you F four it is here. This one it is here. F four. F four. F four it is here. Yeah, of course. Okay. So actually, impending motion of this block B it is towards the left side. This one is direction of impending motion. Also, this one is the direction of impending motion. Direction of impending motion. Inventing motion. Inventing motion. Inventing motion. Okay. So if direction of inventing motion towards the left means friction force it is acted opposite direction. So first of all, this friction force F R is equal to F R is equal to here. This for it is. It is first this one. F bar is equal to F bar is equal to F bar is equal to coefficient of friction between this surface and B block it is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 RN. RN. 0.25 RN. So now coefficient of friction between block A and B. Friction force it is here. F R is equal to here. We'll write here. F R is equal to F R is equal to this one. The coefficient of friction between A and B it is 0 0.2 R A. 0 0.2 R A. 0.2 coefficient of friction between A and B it is 0 0.2. And normal reaction it is R A. Okay. So these forces acted on block. B okay. So now apply condition of equilibrium here. So we'll write here. So R N A it is 100 Newton. Just note from this value. Apply like condition of equilibrium. Now apply condition of equilibrium or bleed block. Apply condition. Condition of condition of equilibrium. Condition is equilibrium for block for block B for block B. Okay. So first of all, summation F Y is equal to zero. Summation of F Y is equal to zero. Summation of F Y is equal to zero. For that assumption, say if the force it is upward, it will be take positive. If the force it is downward, it will be take negative. Okay. Upward it will be positive. Or down, downward it will be negative. Or downward it will be negative. <laughs> so first R and B it is going upward. R A and B. Then R and A it is going downwards. So minus R A and A. Then 150 Newton weight of B block is going downward. So minus 150. 150 RNB, RNB. So these three forces acted in vertical direction is equal to zero. So from this relation, it will get R N A. It is we are calculating 100 and R N B minus 100 minus 150 is equal to zero. So R N B is equal to 250. R N B is equal to this 100 plus 150 it will be. 250 Newton. 50. So this one it is RNB. Okay. RNB. RNB. So now apply summation fx is equal to 0. Right here. Summation fx is equal to 0. Now apply summation fx is equal to 0. Summation fx is equal to 0. So for that assumption, if the direction of force it is right side, it will be positive. The direction of force it is right side, it will be positive. The direction of force it is left side, it will be negative. 
the direction of the process will be negative. It will be negative. negative. Okay. So first of all, this FRA is equal to 0.25 RNB is going right side. It will be positive. 0.25 RNB. Then this F it is going left side. So minus F. Then this FR 0.2. RNA is going also left side, right side. It is positive plus 0.2 RNA. Then this process acted in horizontal is equal to zero. So put all this RNB value here. 0.25 RNB is 250, 250. Then minus F, then plus. 0.2 into RNA it is 100 Newton and then is equal to 0. So from this relation it will be F value. Okay. Right now F is equal to first of all calculate the calculation 0.25 into 250. It will be 250.25 Five, then minus f then plus 0.2 into 100 0.2 into 100 it will be 20 20 is equal to 0 into 0.25 into 250 it will be 0.25 into 250 it will be 62.5 that is this one it is 62.5 so this value is 62.5 62.5 is equal to it is 0. From this relation, it will get f is equal to 62.5 plus 20. So it will get 82.5 newton. F it is 82.5 newton. This one it is for condition 1. And the string it is attached. Okay. And the string it is attached. The question was. Find the smallest value of the horizontal force F to just move the lower block. Okay. To so just move the lower block, it is F is equal to it will be required 82.5 Newton. When the block is restrained by string, and the block it is restrained by the string. Okay. So now condition two it is when the block it is remove the string. Okay. Now apply condition. Now consider block B. So this one will be final answer for condition one. Now consider block two. Block B with condition 2. Now consider, so otherwise you can just say here. Okay. So now apply condition of equilibrium for block 2. I will write. Condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium for block B and condition 2. Condition 2 it is condition 2 it is when string is removed. Then string is removed. When string is removed. When string is removed, so this block will be carried with the A block. Block A and B it is carrying together. Okay. Because it is not attached here string, so it will be carried with the block B. So that's the applied condition of the problem. Yes, summation f y is equal to zero. Summation f y is equal to zero. Summation f y is equal to zero. So for that, I will same. If the force it is upward, it will be top positive. If the force it is downward, it will be negative. Okay. So here, Summation f y is 150 it is going downward direction. So minus 150 
then minus RNA minus RNA plus RNG plus RNG is equal to zero. So minus one fifty RNA it is hundred newton. RNA it is hundred newton. Hundred then plus RNG. RNB is equal to zero. Okay. So RNB is equal to same it will be get 250 newton. 250 newton. 250 newton. So difference it is here. Apply second equilibrium equation that is summation fx is equal to zero. Summation fx is equal to zero. So right here. X is equal to zero. Summation of x is equal to 0. Summation of x is equal to 0. So here, yeah, assumption same. If the force it is right side, it will be positive. If the force it is left side, it will be negative. So if the right side, it will be positive. The left side, it will be negative. Okay. So here, so friction force it is not included. This one here. Okay. This one. Because it will be carried with the block B. So that's why it will be zero in this condition for condition two. Because it will be carried with the block B. That's okay. So here F it is going left side. So minus F then plus one two five R and B. R and B. Z force remaining is equal to it is zero. So f is equal to f is equal to f is equal to point two five R N B it is two fifty two fifty newton. We get f is equal to from this relation point two five into two fifty. So it will be sixty two point five newton. Sixty two point five newton. Sixty two point five newton. So this one is. F force required when the string it is not attached when string is removed. Okay, when string it is attached, F it is required 82.5 Okay, this is your final solution. Okay, there are for there are two conditions it is given when the block is restrained by string and when the block is when string is removed. Sorry, when the string is removed, second condition for second condition, F it is required 62.5 newton. Or condition one, the block is restrained by string. It is F. It is 82.5 newton. Okay.